What's up guys, it's Blake here from uh, Sweet Patina. I wanted to uh, give you guys a walk around video of the 67 Camaro that we've been posting and talking about here for a little while. As you can see, it's definitely, definitely not the 67 Camaro that you normally see out on the road. Our original goal was to find a 67 Camaro that was mostly original as possible. I know if I say all original, I'm gonna get hammered with uh, messages and emails. So anyway, we found a uh, 56,000 mile matching numbers 327 Power Glide Camaro. Still had the original tires on it. Original interior that's, of course, worn and weathered exactly like we love to find these cars because we're going to use them and we're going to drive the heck out of them. And uh, we decided that we would build this into like the ultimate 67 Camaro Cruiser without breaking the bank. So what we did is we went with uh, Ride Tech Street Grip Suspension and added the one inch lowering blocks to the rear. Then we added some Billet Specialties Smoothie Wheels from Boris over at Street Machinery with the step lip, which is just perfect for this car, with the 69 Camaro Poverty Caps. <laughs> and um, of course, like we do all of our builds, Continental Tires, Extreme Contact Sports. On the front, we have a two, let's see, a 225-45 with a 4.25 back spacing on the front wheel. That's with no clearance. That's uh, so no rubbing, I'm sorry. That's with no rubbing, uh, lock to lock. On the back here, that's a 18 by 10 with no tubs. You know, a lot of guys want to tub these cars when they want to run an 18 by 10. So this is a 18 by 10 with a 5.75 back spacing. And I gotta tell you, this thing sits perfect in my opinion, uh, without going bags and without going, you know, crazy expensive with the coilovers. Another thing we did was we added uh, the HPI Customs Frame Reinforcement Kit. Actually, this is not the Frame Reinforcement Kit. This is a, a subframe, subframe connectors. We're running the reinforcement kit on the uh, 57 Chevy that you guys know us for. Magnaflow exhaust. Keep this 327 pern. And then with the Continental tires, that's a 225-45 front tire with a 275-40 in the rear. And again, like I said, we wanted a mostly original 67 Camaro. Like I said, you can see the, the worn and weathered paint on this thing, the emerald turquoise. Uh, it came with the original or it came, sorry, it came with uh, the turquoise interior. This looks perfect. It's got a uh, console option from the factory. But anyway, all of this stuff works. Like I said, it's when you zoom in on it, it's, it's worn and weathered. This is exactly what we like. We pound the miles on these things. We added our sweet patina roof rack mounts through the... Uh, SE bikes, the Big Ripper, the Mike Buff Edition, and my wife's SoCal Flyer up there, so we can uh, have some fun with it. But yeah, man, we've uh, we've pounded some miles on this thing since we got it back from Jacoby, and uh, of course we love to pile the kids in it and uh, take them to school. Bentley, what did what did you start for us? What do we call Wednesdays? Hot Rod Wednesday. Hot lunch, game day at PE, and hot rod. So we have a Wednesday, hot rod Wednesday. We've been running the kids around in this thing. We got the bikes on the roof. Uh, Bentley, can you hold the camera real quick so I can open the hood? Oh, yeah. I want to show people the, the hood real quick. Again, this, this car was bought with a 56,000 mile. Numbers matching 327. 
We went to uh, Jacoby over at Bet's Performance. He got us hooked up with uh, power disc brakes. We got C5 Corvette disc brakes on the front and rear. Don't touch it. Um, like I said, that's Willwood master cylinder there. We put some um, Headman headers on here. We put an HEI distributor. This car even came with, it still had the points in it, which was, you know what I'm saying? That's pretty odd to find these days. But anyway, you can see uh, under the hood, it's very clean. Uh, no, it's not for sale. I uh, brought it home and the wife absolutely fell in love with the turquoise. So uh, that's why the wife's bikes, the, the wife's bike is on the top. Um, I'm going to take her out for a date night tonight. How about that, boys? Take your wife out in a 67 Camaro with some big bikes on the roof rack. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. But, uh, yeah, so there's there's a couple different things that we want to do with the car. Um, you know, right now we're running Magnaflow exhaust on it. We had, uh, <clears throat> we, put, we put the uh, console in here out of the 57, actually. But look at this, all the lights work. Headliner's tight. I got a replacement dash to put in it. Um, like I said, I think you can see here. Uh, you can't see because of the glare. Let me see if I can get it right. Anyway, I don't care if you guys believe me or not. Uh, 58,375 miles. Got our next oil change coming up. Awesome turquoise interior. And uh, like I said, guys, we have been really, really enjoyed loving uh, driving this car exactly like it is. Like I said, this is stock tubs. There, there was nothing cut on this car whatsoever. HP, uh, HPI Customs subframe connectors, Ride Tech Street Grip with the extra one inch lowering block in the back to get it to sit perfect. Uh, Continental tires, 225-45, 18 in the front, a 275-40, 18 in the back, and uh, the front, like I said, 18 by 7 with a 4.25 back spacing, absolutely no rubbing, lock to lock, running the suspension. The back is a, uh, let's see, 18 by 10. And it's got a 5.75 back spacing on it. Like I said, this is a Ride Tech Street Grip with an additional one inch lowering block from Ride Tech. And this car, I mean, man, it handles it. I mean, it handles good, it drives good. 327 Power Glide transmission. And uh, man, we have been loving this thing. Of course, with the roof rack system, that's sweetpatina.com. We got these things in mass production. We can hook you up with any drip rail or rain gutter classic car. And, uh, man, we've just had a lot of fun. I told you guys I'd make a video of this thing. And uh, I've just been busy with uh, my career in therapy, the kids taking care of the wife and uh i wanted to give you guys a heads up on what's up but those are uh billet specialties wheels from boris awesome little step lip there with the 69 camara poverty caps and man i think i covered it all let's see look at this baby i actually like drug my hand around in there trying to find oil Oh, that sounds funny. All right, guys. Y'all stay tuned. We got a lot of really cool stuff coming with uh, Sweet Patina. And uh, just super, super proud of all the support. Super thankful for it. And uh, we're ready to make 2021 the best year yet. So you guys keep following us. Go follow us on Instagram. Go follow us on Facebook. And, of course, we got the YouTube channel. I'm not the greatest at uh, making videos and everything, but uh, we guys like Puddin's Fab Shop putting out the, the goodness. I got I, I to gotta figure out a way to hang with that guy. So, uh, 
Talk to you guys soon. See ya.